hi everyone welcome back to my channel i'm timmy if it's your first time here welcome to this beautiful channel how are you doing if it's not your first time here welcome back so today i'm going to be talking about how i lost my belly fat with these simple steps i mean they are not like simple simple but with um persistency with um consistency with discipline you can also see this result i am a disciplined person i do very well with instructions so if you do well with instructions and you also want to lose your belly fat make sure you keep on watching this video so welcome 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 once again if it's your first time here please make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel it is free <laughs> subscribe to my youtube channel give this video a thumbs up leave comments in the comment section for video ideas you want me to film or if you have any questions if nothing if something was you know bothering you you do not understand what i am saying leave a question for me in the comment section down below okay so let's get right into how i lost my belly fat okay the first thing i did or i always do or i still do is walk i love to walk a lot and i don't mean that i never used to walk i mean i used to walk but not as much as i do now so i walk to the gym back and forth and that's about five to seven kilometers and i do it brisk briskly brisk like a brisk walk you know when you're walking fast not running but walking i think there's a difference between walking and running like there's a scientific difference but i have not you know really gotten myself into it meanwhile what i used to do was maybe run on the treadmill which was different from now that i always walk so i don't joke with my cardio you need that cardio cardio is what to make you lose fat and most of the time you have belly fat like belly and you know belly fat so you have to get in your cardio and i don't joke with my walking i try to do some other types of cardio but not in the gym i don't like to waste my time doing cardio in the gym i can do my cardio at home so when i go to the gym i like to lift which brings us to my second point i lift a lot at the gym when before i used to just do like cardio you know aerobics and that was it and so you know some small small lifting here and there but now i do like the hardcore intense lifting i try to lift my body also because that way you are like um training your muscles you are like strengthening your muscles and when your muscles expand the fat goes away or the fat melts away whichever one it is so i do like the hardcore lifting so lifting is something you should try to imbibe or try to incorporate in your workouts that means you have to be exercising you cannot eat your cake and have it I worked hard. I worked extremely hard to lose this belly fat, okay? So you have to work hard. You have to do your cardio, do your lifting, and exercise, okay? That's like the three in one, the trinity of losing your belly fat. Exercising, cardio, and lifting. So the very and the most important one is to cut out your sugar. All the sugar that you do not need, all those refined sugar, cut it out. I cut my own refined sugar a long time ago. I... I can count how many times I've had surgery this year. I can count how many times I've put sugar in my gary this year. So you need to cut out your um, refined sugar, your soda. Oh my God, please cut. Oh my God. Soda, please. I'm begging you. Cut it out. Coke, Fanta, all those things. They do not... Yeah, they will not allow you to achieve your dream <laughs> of having that belly fat gone. Cut out that sugar, okay? You need to cut out your sugar. You need to cut out your soda. So you can substitute your sugar with um, honey. You can substitute your sugar with date water. Like you can soak dates in a lot of water. Just soak it there and leave it there covered for like one week. Come back to that water. It's going to be so sweet. You have no idea that it is dates that it was there. You think it was sugar and water. So you can substitute it for date water, date powder. You can also dehydrate your dates completely. Grind it and you're going to have date powder. So that's how you make date powder. So um, dates, honey, um, um, I think that's it. And I don't know if you want to do sweet now. I mean, it's fine for me. If I'm going to do sweet now, maybe if I'm on a keto diet, but date water, date, date powder, honey is fine. So those can be your replacement with uh, for sugar rather. So also you need to um, reduce your... Reduce your carbs. Mm -hmm. 
I I don't know. People think that with weight loss you have to reduce your food. No, you have to reduce some certain types of food. And what if I told you you have to reduce your carbs and not your fat intake? Because there are some good fats which you need in your body, and those are the things that will give you energy rather than those carbs. Because carbs take a longer time to you know digest in your body. So if you are reducing your carbs and you are taking healthy fats. Ah, it's magic. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but it's right there in my head. But I just want to tell you that just try and reduce your carbs, reduce your rice intake, your yam intake, your your eba intake, your amala intake, and try to replace that with good protein, with lean protein. Please don't go and be team bokoto and um leg meat or cow leg or all those things. No, try and replace it with good protein and vegetables. You can have more soup. You can have more fish. You can have like more of the other things that are in your plate and not the carbohydrates you're having. So if you used to have like, I don't know, 500 ml of rice before, half that into, you know, 250 ml, half 250 ml of rice and replace the other 250 ml with um, vegetables or with fish or with them, um, with the soup you're having to have the rice. No, it might not be stew, so probably vegetable soup or like a salad so you should try as much as possible to reduce your carb intake which means you should up your protein intake so if you are reducing your carbs up your protein up your vegetable intake okay and also try and include a uh, more soluble fiber into your meals soluble fiber are the um fiber that you know is digested there are some fiber that go through our body that you know just go and um, come out of our body those are insoluble fiber they are also present in like our day-to-day -day food in, in our carbs in our rice in our yam those are insoluble fiber but also they contain soluble fiber so if you are going to take a lot of soluble fiber you have to be taking things like oats those things are rich in fiber oats is very rich in fiber some seeds um you have like the watermelon seed if you are going to have a smoothie blend the seed with the watermelon and in so many fruits, there are so many soluble fibers in uh, fruits like watermelon, apple. Um, I don't know. Please try and Google um, soluble fiber because I'm saying this from the top of my head right now. So you have the um, golden melon. Those things have like prick, pricky seeds in it. You can, you know, I like to blend it a lot with the seeds. And those things inside are like the healthy fiber you need there's no unhealthy fiber don't mind me so that's like the healthy fiber you need which is like the soluble fiber that you should um consume a lot so you have oats which you can take which is like the main the main soluble fiber which you should include into your diet So as much as possible, try and track your food intake. Make sure you know what you're taking in the morning, afternoon, evening. So that means that you cannot just eat your breakfast in the morning and then later in the midday, you just feel, oh, I need a snack. You now, you know, snack on something. No. And later in the afternoon, <laughs> I'm having lunch. But you eat something again before you have that lunch. So you've eaten four times already. Try and track your food intake. Know that you're eating this for breakfast, this for lunch, this for dinner. That is if you're having dinner, but for people like us, we eat just twice a day. So make sure you know how what you are eating, when you are eating it, the amount of what you are eating. That way you know when to cut what out or want to when you want to include something in your food. So make sure you track your food intake. Also, <clears throat> which brings us to Which brings me to the last but not the least is no processed food in as much as possible as you can or as much as possible as you can try and avoid processed food no fast food don't do all those chickweeds you know refer mark <laughs> with refer marks all those um chicken and rice all those things don't do all those burgers hot dogs or no pizza no kind of processed food no fast food none of that because you don't know the ingredients that have been used to um, produce this food to make this food you don't know the um kind of um heating or that that it was going through you don't know how 
it was made basically so please try and cut that out completely at least for the time being that you want to see that result for the time being where you dedicate to losing that belly fat you can always have this later on in life i mean once in a while because i do that once in a while but it's not like you'll be eating it every other day or every day oh my god <laughs> no so make sure you cut out processed food cut out fast food okay and most importantly sugar all those soda eh sugar coke fanta sprite nah don't do that so that is just just sums up how i lost my belly fat so i think for me the most important one was like the sugar and the walking i cut out sugar and you see that walk i walk and walk and walk and walk and i sweat a lot and you know that just gave me my results and i've been doing that for the past like six weeks and the results is just glaring like i can see it so that brings us to the end of this video um i i hope i mentioned everything correctly here if i do not mention or if i remember some other things i'm going to leave them in the comments sorry in the description box so remember to um so as i said earlier if it's your first time here remember to subscribe to this video give this video a thumbs up it is absolutely free leave comments in the comment section if you have any questions for me or any video requests leave comments in the comment section do not go make sure you stick around and watch other of my videos that will pop up on your screen anywhere either here or here okay make sure you stay tuned and watch some more of these videos and there are some I have recommended in my description box. Make sure you check those out. And I'll see you in the next one you are about to click on. Have a lovely day. Bye. Mwah.